why Fortnite Chapter 2 should have never been released. Ever since Chapter 2, Fortnite has been dying and it's just not feeling the same anymore. In this video, I will explain why that is. What if Fortnite never had a Fortnite Chapter 2? So what happened during Chapter 2 that made it worse than Chapter 1? Well, basically all the content updates. Fortnite has been criticized about their lack of mobility ever since the launch of Chapter 2. And now they do have cars and choppers now but they're just not as creative with them as chapter 1. Now yes the mobility like mechs and planes suck, but most players love the snowboards, ballers, and quad crashers. All this can be changed with more updates with good content, which is also the main reason why Fortnite players are leaving this chapter. Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 1 has 128 days, which is the most days of any season, and yet they release updates like once a month, which leads to them having the least updates out of any season. And besides, all of that, they didn't even include anything huge inside those updates. This might be why they also took out patch notes. Not just that, but in the beginning, they also took out half of the things in the loot pool and left us with ARs, shotguns, and SMGs and had the simple heals like minis and big pots. Other than that, and explosives, there really wasn't anything else except for fishing. Of course you can fish for things, but the chances of you finding a rare gun or a slurp fish were very slim. They did upgrade their fishing in season 4, so props for them on that though. In chapter 2, the whole storyline was changed. Remember when Fortnite had a huge event each season, and everyone was trying to know what was new and what thing will happen to the Fortnite map next, or when the new event will occur. Now, in chapter 2, almost season 5 and the only huge story is Midas, which we all got bored of due to it being released in chapter 2 season 2 and it's almost season 5 so that's around 3 seasons without any storyline. The changed about storylines are mainly due to the map which is completely new only except for Salty and Retail and some other spots. The map was the main reason people didn't feel the same anymore as they felt when playing back in chapter 1. It looks stale. It's cool that Fortnite made the map bigger, but does that help with the boringness of fighting players? At the end of chapter 2 season 1, things got so stale. The most hyped up thing at the time were fashion shows, which was crazy. It's like people don't even care about the game anymore and trying to reinvent it just to make it fun again. Now I'm not saying that Epic should have max and planes all over again, but they should at least try to push their weekly updates. After all, Fortnite is still huge and no matter what, if you're in content or competitive, everyone still needs new updates from Epic every once in a while, which is what they did last chapter. Now, what would happen if chapter 2 have never been released? Well, in my opinion, they would have a super cluttered map. Remember in Season X, where they were bringing back old locations like Dusty Depot and keeping new ones? Well, that messed up the whole map, and it looked like a huge mess. I also think that it was the main reason it switched to Chapter 2. Not gonna lie, Season X was way more fun than now, which is Chapter 2 Season 4, almost Chapter 2 Season 5, due to how many things were still in Fortnite. So if they just removed the new messy locations and left the old ones like Tilted and Shifty, that would be a perfect map that most players can agree on. By 2020, Fortnite would be having its 15th season. So what if they went another two years? Wouldn't the seasons be like 23 and more? It would be much more organized if Fortnite just kept it chapter three, season four or something like that. Epic especially might plan chapter two because players were noticing that they were purposefully adding and not removing overpowered items for fame. That's how it works. Once Fortnite releases mechs for example, people go crazy and tweet about it and tell their friends about it. And that makes people want to see what's new. And so they got more players. Once people caught this in season X, that might be the reason why Fortnite changed into chapter two and removed all the OP items because people knew that they were all doing this for fame because a multi-million dollar company can't just mess up and put this many overpowered items into the competitive loot pool this many times. These are just some of the biggest issues about chapter two and I don't think it should have been released since it's the reason it died. And the reason I feel bored even when I hopped on for just 15 minutes in the Fortnite lobby today. What do you think about this topic? If you want to learn more about gaming 
or you just want to know more about games, subscribe. I post videos weekly, and you'll be missing out on a ton of things you might want to know about gaming. Thanks for watching, and let's have a discussion about this in the comments below.